So I want to no. ask you about two things. Yeah. Um, I want to ask you about what your liberal friends are saying about Biden now in California. But at first, let's before we leave COVID, um, Gavin Newsom, all of a sudden he found Jesus and he was like, <laughs> we've all been healed and uh, is is opened outdoor dining. Yeah. And next week, maybe some additional openings. Um, what, what was the what was the religion he found? It's an abject load of BS. This guy is the worst. When you think about what the worst sort of elitist politician who uh-huh. wants to live one way and have their their minions live another way, mm-hmm. it is he is the poster boy. You know what I mean? He's the you know the, you know the whole French Laundry story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, twenty two people went out to dinner, not social distancing, no masks, fifteen thousand dollars in alcohol. I know you don't drink, Glenn. Holy cow, that's, that's a lot of alcohol. And I listen, you know I like <laughs> wine, but yeah. that's fifteen thousand dollars for twenty-two people. Okay, so that's about seven hundred fifty bucks in alcohol per person, not even the meal. Okay, wow. Look, look, it's just obvious <laughs> what this guy has done, which is that this thing was political. These lockdowns <clears throat> were political. They wanted to take out Trump. If the lockdowns made any sense then the numbers in Florida and Texas would be exponentially higher mm-hmm. than in places like New York and California. Mm-hmm. And the simple truth is not only are they not, in many cases they're mm-hmm. actually less. It's just it's just that simple. Like if you told me lockdowns work, all right, well, let's look at it. We got a lockdown place. We got an open place. Right. It's as simple as that. And I've been to, I'm here in Texas and right. I've been to Florida. And right. guess what? A lot of happy people. You can see people smiling and yeah. going out and business as usual. It's a, it's a, it's, well, it's not business as usual yeah. to, to, to us. Yeah. What's happening in Texas is draconian. Yeah. I mean, we don't like what's happening right. so in not, Texas. Of course, yeah, not but, business as usual in that sense. I'm yeah. at the hotel now yeah. and I still have to wear a mask and, and yeah. that sort of thing. But relative. Relative to you and where you're living. So is this is this because the election is over or is this because the Recall Gavin uh, movement is actually probably going to happen. I I think it's both. It's one is they got the result they wanted. So the people that are all about unity now and everything else is like, well, we got what we want. So it's time to heal and and unify, which of course we know if they didn't get what they want, you think they'd be talking about unity and healing. Mm -hmm. And if we suddenly were like, Mm -hmm. okay, unity and healing, they'd be saying, wait a minute, the white supremacists are in charge of everything. So, so that's one level of it. I think the other level is that he's really worried. I mean, I think from what I understand, they have about 1.3 of the 1.5 million signatures they want Uh, 1.8 they want 1.8 because they know there'll be all sorts of games played and as i was telling you during the break you know you have to sign its hand signatures so you can't do it online so they also keep you locked in your house so it's harder to even find a place where you can go and sign the thing it's amazing they've got that this far in the middle of the shutdown i mean it's incredible that there's this close with all of the rules too with all the rules everybody could vote they just send ballots out that's fine (laughs) but to recall one of these cretins right you can't do that it's (laughs) Strange, they don't do the recalls yeah, by, yeah, sure. <laughs> by mail and ballot. Um, <laughs> I do think he will get recalled, and and what I would pray for is that somebody sane, maybe a Rick Grinnell, who who you know is from SoCal mm-hmm. and was in the Trump administration and was our ambassador to Germany, and he, and he's a great he's, guy. He's a really great guy. and a fighter because mm-hmm. you're going to need. It's not just that you need someone to come in and be a little saner than Newsom. The machine, when people talk about the swamp and the DC machine and all yeah, that. Yeah. The California machine is like, I oh, mean, yeah. this is a one party state of the extreme level. So, we'll, well, it's not just you recall him and then suddenly so, things get better. So, what are your liberal friends? I mean, because they've got kids too. They've got to be seeing the deterioration of their kids <sighs> over a year. Is anybody talking about like these labor unions? For for schools, what what the hell are you doing? They don't want to go back to school, right? And now Biden's telling them right. not to go back to school. I mean, it's actually crazy. Again, it was ten months ago, almost a year ago, two weeks to flatten the curve. Yesterday, Biden's telling us about a hundred day federal mask mandate. What? But this is what I mean. Things are changing so quickly that we're forgetting what last week was like. Mm-hmm. The internet has done something to our brains, and Twitter and the endless news feed and the the whole mm-hmm. thing that we talk about mm-hmm. all the time is doing something so that things happen so fast that, you know, when George Orwell wrote about, the, you know, things getting put into the memory hole, Trump will be memory hold. Oh, yeah. All of, the, all of the things that have happened over the years that don't fit the narrative will be memory hold. We forget. So suddenly you're like, oh, well, why not? Just 100 more days of masks and 100 right. more days of this. And OK, and then guess what? In 100 days, they'll say, oh, you know, we just... Now the UK strain actually morphed with the Brazilian strain. Right. And I'm sorry, but you're going to have to live underground for right. three years. And people <laughs> will go, okay, 
I mean, I had it. I was. I don't think so. You know, the the people in where is it? We're Sweden not going underground. Or, that would be nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, they're revolting. Now, yeah, they're finally. revolting. Yeah. Sweden, the Swedes. I know. I mean, they don't do that. No. And if the Swedes are starting to stand up against their government, uh, you've got something going on in the world. Yeah. Something big going on. You know, I was in Sweden a couple of years ago, and I was on tour with Jordan Peterson. And one of the things in Sweden, have you been to Sweden? Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that's remarkable about Sweden is, especially here in the Stockholm area, it's it's so clean. Uh-huh. Every, everyone looks yep. perfect. They all look yeah. like they walked out of a magazine. Everyone looks like they just bought their clothes yeah. that morning. So yeah. these are people, to your point, that are kind of satisfied with life. Yeah. So they the idea it. that you've got the people of Sweden now, and we're yeah. seeing this through a couple of the Nordic countries. I think it's mm-hmm. happening in Denmark, too. Mm-hmm. The, that you have these people now revolting. How far can you push people? And it's and we're being pushed in every way. I heard you guys talking about the GameStop thing. Everyone, so the average person that's now getting in the game is now being told they can't get in the game. Correct. And you're locked in your house. Correct. And big tech might take you out. This this Man. The Great Reset yesterday, we were talking about uh, how they say that you're going to have skin in the game because it's stakeholder Could, yeah. capitalism, okay? And... When you dig into it and you're like, okay, they say, you're going to be a part of it. You're going to get the benefits of it. And finally, you'll get the benefits. How do you get the benefits? I'm not at the table. I'm not I'm not even in Davos. I, I, you won't even really show me everything that's going on. And you're certainly not asking me for my opinion. Uh, well, they say because your representative government is is in place of you. Glenn, you know when somebody <laughs> when somebody tells you how good of a friend they are all the time? Yeah. That pretty much means they're not a good friend. <laughs> That's pretty much what these people are doing. When they're always, we're looking out for you. I know. You're not going to own anything, but you'll be taken care of. We're going to give you universal basic income. We're going to make your life better. No, it's so fundamentally the opposite of what what anyone liberty-minded should think, which is just that, give, just give me a chance to live and get out of my way. That that's all I ask for. That is all I ask for. I think that's that's what most of your listeners want in life is just the opportunity. It's, it's the it. American dream. Give me a chance to play yeah. in the game. And now we, the system is saying no. We back in in uh, FDR's day, they perverted the American dream and they made it a chicken in every pot and a right. car in every garage. That's not the American dream. No. The American dream was. Just leave me alone so I can make my own way. This was the only place in the world you could do it. And now we are worse than some countries over in Europe. It is harder to do things here in America. We've lost a lot of our liberty.